Well, guys, it's official with the 58th overall pick. The Minnesota Vikings select Ezra Cleveland, a guy that was mocked to the Vikings in the first round, but he fell to number two. I can for sure say there is one guy happy on this team, and that's running back Alexander Madison. Eric, what's your thoughts on this pick? Yeah, Gabe, I mean, Madison's got to be thrilled, right? I mean, he Madison was a beast in college, and he and Cleveland blocked for him for a couple of years. I think the thing with Ezra, you know, uh, started 13 games for, for Boise State last year. He's athletic. I mean, he's six foot six, 311 pounds. He ran a 4.93 40-yard dash at the combine. That's a big guy who's moving. And, you know, it's almost like what you said. The Vikings have to be thrilled that he fell to the, this late in the second round. You know, when I was doing a lot of mock draft projections leading up to the draft, there were people picking him to go at 22 or 25 to the Vikings in the first round. So, I mean, the, the front office, Rick Spielman, they have to be ecstatic that he dropped to the second round. You know, he's a two-time All-Mountain West selection, and, you know, the Vikings got a good one at a, a good value. Ron, what's, what's your thoughts on this? Yeah, Ezra Cleveland, I mean, like like Eric said, 6'6", 300 and almost 15 pounds. So he has kind of like that Brian O'Neill frame, but has the ability with that height to put more weight on. So this is a kid that can end up at 325 and still be able to run a five flat 40. But I like his second level blocking. One reason one, he doesn't panic. So if a guy gets outside of his frame, he has the feet and the, the, uh, the athleticism to be able to regroup himself. But we know... Gary Kubiak's offense, he likes his offense alignment to be able to move downfield. Ezra is an extremely athletic tackle. He's going to be able to move downfield. Second level blocks, when they can double team, and we know the Vikings love the double team in the zone run scheme. He's a great double teamer, and he's going to be able to scoop to the outside linebacker, which Alexander Madison, Dalvin Cook, even Adam Thielen, if we run a jet sweep, those guys are going to love a guy like Cleveland that can move out. Day one, he's going to come into training camp and compete and force Brian O'Neill and Riley Reef to figure out which of the three of us is going to be the two starting tackles. And so I think this adds early draft capital right away to Mike Zimmer's team, and it gives Gary Kubiak a guy that can move in space. For sure. Well, the Vikings, they select a receiver with the first pick, a DB with the second, and now an offensive tackle. So they're checking the boxes. Vikings fans, make sure you stay tuned to Vikings.com and follow us on all of our social media platforms. <laughs> 